In this video, we are going to explore whether or not my mother is more fashionable than me. <laughs> Throughout my childhood, I would definitely say she was, except the time when she chose this for my hairstyle. <laughs> but then again, I chose this. So probably yes, more fashionable. <laughs> In any case, I had asked her to go ahead and pick me out a haul. Unfortunately, my mom was out of town, so she can't be here for this video, but she did choose all the items here based off of what she thought would look good on me. So we will see if she's right. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope you enjoy. Let's start with the shirt. This shirt is ironically almost identical to the one that my husband picked out in the Dress Your Wife Timu haul. If you haven't seen that video, go look it up on my channel. It was a hoot. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that my mom and my husband chose almost the same thing for me. It's a button-up shirt here, and it's got some pleating at the shoulders. It is fairly long-sleeved. And it's got buttons on the cuffs, and they were really hard to get on. <laughs> it took me probably five minutes to button up the cuffs on my shirt. Probably not something I'd want to do every day. It fits just fine through here. It's that material that's going to get wrinkly and need to be steamed or ironed. And I think this is too dressy for me to wear to work. But overall, the shirt is pretty nice. The pants are kind of a train wreck, and I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. I think it's mostly because they don't fit very well on me. It's got this smocking through the waist area here, and I do not have the body shape for this smocking to fit on my waist. I've got kind of a lower gut and an upper gut, and it either spans both and falls in, or it either comes up or below. It's just not the best fit for me. It's also not very long in the torso area. So I feel like it's kind of pulling up where I don't want it to. And it's got these flaps on the legs. So the pattern is really cute. It's got kind of a herringbone pattern on it. I do like the pattern. It's a khaki and navy. I'm not sure how well the camera picks up the colors, but the pattern is cute. It's wide legged. They are comfortable or they would be comfortable if they fit me properly through this zone. These pants aren't for me. In my mother's defense, my mother is an average size woman. She hasn't had to dress plus size for a different body shape. So she probably just didn't realize that this would look so wonky here. Mom, you'll have to weigh in on the comments. Do you like these pants or do you not like them? I think they're a no-go for me, but let me know what you think. Might keep the shirt, but I think the pants are going back. Sorry, Ma. This one has some potential. Let's start with the pants. The pants are a corduroy fit. It's a real thin corduroy, as you would expect from Shein or Timu. Does have pockets front and back, so that's a bonus. Full size, real pockets. It's a wider leg on it, and it's not stretchy. It's not a stretchy material, but it does have some elastic in the back here, so that is nice really comfortable and I like they can be pulled up or I can wear them down. If I wear them at my actual waistline, they kind of sag a little bit through here. Probably keep it pulled up. Now I love the shirt. Well, I love most everything about the shirt. I love the color. I love being a pumpkin shirt color. I don't know. I just do. I've had a lot through the years. It's super cute. It has buttons on the cuffs, so that's really cute. And the material is really lightweight and thin, which is good and bad, because if I want to pull this out and not have the pants cover up my stomach area, you can definitely see the stomach dimples <laughs> showing through the fabric. On the shirt is stretchy. I love a v-neck, so I love this shirt, Mom. It's great and very comfortable. It's very smooth and very soft. It's got kind of a rib knit pattern to it. It's a winner. Here is the back on this. And here is the front. Good job, Mom. Same pants, 
different shirt. I love the shirt. The shirt is really pretty. It's funny because I had purchased this shirt similar to this. At least it had very similar sleeves on it. And the reason why I had purchased that other shirt was because of the sleeves. It was a green shirt. But I didn't like it because it was way tight through the torso area. So there was no hiding any lumps and bumps. I like this a lot better with this free-flowing area here. It kind of covers up some flaws and imperfections. The sleeves are the best part. I don't know how well you can see here, but they are a sheer-ish fabric. New word, sheer-ish. <laughs> in a V pattern. It's just got this texture woven through it. Sleeves are really, really pretty. Fits really well through here. Again, it's much looser and flowier. It comes down to mid pocket, I would say. And on the back here, there is a, hopefully my tag's not hanging out. There is a keyhole loop with a button on it. I, I did not need to take the button out to get the shirt on. But it's nice that that's there if you have hair, or whatever the case may be. That's there and that's kind of nice. Otherwise, it adds just a cute element on the back. Mom, I like this one. This one is a winner. I will definitely be keeping this one. I think it's really pretty. My mom must have been feeling the beige when she was shopping, but that's okay because I love beige. She must know that about me. I love it. This shirt is really cute. It does have a flaw on it. It is gapping right here right across my bra line. I don't have a very big chest, so if this is gapping on me, it's probably gonna be gapping on some of you other ladies for sure. I don't wanna use it as a button-up shirt though. I think once I put it on, I realized this is gonna make a really cute cover-up shirt for maybe a cami underneath it, long necklace, something along those lines. It's got a really big collar. The collar's really big. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of stiff, so I think it will hold its form when it's unbuttoned and just hanging open. I also like the length of it for that. I think I'm keeping this one, and I'm going to use it a little bit differently just because of the gapping, but I do like it. I like it a lot. I like the stripes running up and down it. Not sure how well you can see that texture. It uh, was a little wrinkly, so I think this may be one I'm going to have to steam. But yeah, I do like it. Good job, Mom. I like this one too. Mom, this dress is so cute. <laughs> she picked out a dress for me. I'm surprised she hadn't given up hope because when I was growing up, I barely ever wore dresses. I was a tomboy. I probably drove her insane. Sorry, Mom. I'm getting my own karma now that I have boys. <laughs> In any case, I really like this dress. I think it's cute, it's flattering, and it's fun. This belt area, it does have a belt here. It does have loops for the belt to go in. It's a separate removable belt. I wish it wasn't. I wish they had sewed this on. And I'm sure it's just my body shape because my apple form, it's falling right in the spot where my stomach starts to come out and it's kind of rolling up onto itself. So I kind of wish this was permanently affixed to the dress and I might just do that. I might uh, take a needle and thread and just kind of tack it here so it doesn't keep rolling up on itself. I like the print on the bottom. So not only is my mother embracing my new found love of dresses, but look, she's embracing my new found love of animal prints. <laughs> it's got a Dalmatian print on it. I guess that's what you call it. Maybe a cheetah, a leopard. I don't know. Whatever animal print this is, it's really cute. It's got kind of a pinkish beige color. You probably can't see that picked up in the camera so much. It probably just looks cream. But there is just a tinge of pink in it, so that's really cute. The top section is a knit fabric, really stretchy, and it has the cutest little sleeves. Aren't these darling? It's got a cuff on it that goes up with little buttons on it. And I like the high neckline because then you can wear whatever bra you want without having to worry about it. I really like this one. And look, it swishes so nice. I like the length on it too. It comes below my knees, which is always a bonus. Good job, mom. I think this one is my favorite. This shirt is very similar actually to the beige one with the sheer sleeves on it. No sheer sleeves here, but the material is similar. The feel of it is similar and it's got this pleating up at the neckline. So I don't know if I just purchased the wrong thing or if she had chosen two things that were um, kind of the same and maybe I wasn't sure what color so I picked both. That's a possibility. 
In any case, I do like the shirt. I like it a lot. I like it through here. It's got plenty of room. It's not going to tug when I go to sit down. The sleeves are plenty long and there's lots of room in the shoulders. The fabric is nice and smooth and cool. It's not very hot. So I like that. Here is the length on that so you can see how long it is. A good length, I think, for wearing either in or out. Since it's thin, you could tuck it in easily. Next up is the cargo pants. Mom bought me a pair of cargo pants. Who would have thunk it? I don't think she's ever worn a pair of cargo pants. I'm not sure I've ever worn one, but these are actually kind of cute. They have a wide leg on them, so maybe a little wider than I think a traditional cargo pant would be. They do have pockets. They're real pockets in them. No pockets in the back, but they have pockets up here as well as the cargo pockets. The wide legs on them are cute and it's a good length for me. They look to be high-waisted, so I've got these pulled up at high-waisted length on them. The fabric itself is not stretchy at all, but obviously there's a lot of room through here, so I don't think not having the stretch is a problem. There is a little bit of elastic on the back here. I will say they seem to be not as roomy through the rear end area, because I do feel like they're just pulling down a little bit through the rear, but other than that, I think these are kind of cute. I like them something different. And I will also admit on this one, I steam these, but they took a really long time to steam. I think when these go in the wash and through the dryer, they're going to need ironing every single time. So if that's not your thing, probably don't buy these ones. I like this outfit. Let me know what you guys think. I think she did pretty good on it. I kind of like the more formal shirt mixed with the casual pants. Let me know what you think. Is this is this a decent look? In any case, mom, two thumbs up. Well, everyone, that is all I have for this particular video. My mom stressed over picking these things out. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's just YouTube mom. It's not life and death. But <laughs> if you liked what she did, please hit the like button. And if you like what I did, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I will see you next time.